Hello friends, welcome to civil engineering exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with civil engineering. So the first question, the type of wall which is provided on the suction pipe in a tube well is option A, air relief wall, option B, reflex wall, option C, pressure relief wall, option D, sluice wall. So the correct answer is option B, reflex wall. Next question, the maximum discharge of tube well is a board. Option A 5 liter per second, option B 50 liters per second, option C 500 liters per second, option D 1000 liters per second. So the correct answer is option B 50 liters per second. Next question, as compared to the shallow wells, deep wells have option A more depth, option B less depth, option C more discharge, option D less discharge. So the correct answer is option C more discharge. Next question, the polluted water is one which option A contains pathogenic bacteria, option B consists of undesirable substance rendering it unfit for drinking and domestic use, option C is safe and suitable for drinking and domestic use, option D is contaminated. So the correct answer is option B consists of undesirable substance rendering it unfit for drinking and domestic use. Next question. Groundwater is usually free from option A suspended impurities, option B dissolved impurities, option C both suspended and dissolved impurities, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A suspended impurities. Next question An egg shaped section of sewer option A is economical than circular section, option B provides self cleansing velocity at low discharge. Option C is more stable than circular section. Option D is easy to construct. So the correct answer is Option B provides self cleansing velocity at low discharge. Next question Which of the following is not waterborne disease? Option A dysentery. Option B cholera. Option C typhoid. Option D malaria. So the correct answer is Option D malaria. Next question, the most common cause of acidity in water is option A, carbon dioxide, option B, oxygen, option C, hydrogen, option D, nitrogen. So the correct answer is option A, carbon dioxide. Next question, the phenolic compound in public water supply should not be more than option A, 0.1 ppm, option B, 0.01 ppm. Option C 0.001 ppm. Option D 0.0001 ppm. So the correct answer is Option C 0.001 ppm. Next question Alkalinity in water is expressed as milligram per liter in terms of equivalent option A, car option A calcium carbonate, option B magnesium carbonate. Option C sodium carbonate, option D calcium hydroxide. So the correct answer is calcium carbonate. Next question, which of the following values of pH represent a stronger acid? Option A 2, option B 5, option C 7, option D 10. So the correct answer is option A 2. Next question, turbidity is measured on option A standard silica scale. Option B standard cobalt scale, option C standard platinum scale, option D platinum cobalt scale. So the correct answer is standard silica scale. Next question On standard silica scale, the turbidity in drinking water should be limited to option A 10 ppm, option B 20 ppm, option C 30 ppm, option D 50 ppm. So the correct answer is option A 10 ppm. Next question, residual chlorine in water is determined by option A starch iodide method, option B orthodolidine method, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C both A and B. Next question, orthodolidine test is used for determine option A dissolved oxygen, option B residual chlorine, Option C, biochemical oxygen demand. Option D, dose of coagulant. So the correct answer is option B, residual chlorine. 
Next question, if the total hardness of water is greater than its total alkalinity, the carbonate hardness will be equal to option A total alkalinity, option B total hardness, option C total hardness and total alkalinity, option D non-carbonate hardness. So the correct answer is option B total alkalinity. Next question, the amount of residual chlorine left in public water supply for safety against pathogenic bacteria is about option A 0.012, 0.05 ppm, option B 0.05 to 0.5 ppm, option C 0.5 to 1 ppm, option D 1 to 5 ppm. So the correct answer is option B 0.05 to 0.5 ppm. Next question, the length of rectangle sedimentation tank should not be more than option A, B, option B, 2B, option C, 4B, option D, 8B. So the correct answer is option C, 4B. Next question, percentage of bacterial load that can be removed from water by process of plain sedimentation is about option A, 10 to 25, option B, 50, option C, 75, option D, 100. So the correct answer is option C 75. Next question, the settling velocity of the particle in a sedimentation tank depends upon option A depth of tank, option B surface area of tank, option C both depth and surface area of tank, option D none of the above, option B surface area of the tank. Next question, the settling velocity of particle in a sedimentation tank increase if option A particle size is decreased, option B the surface area of tank is increased, option C the depth of tank is decreased, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option D none of the above. Next question, for a given discharge the efficiency of sedimentation tank can be increased by option A increasing the depth of tank. Option B decreasing the depth of tank, option C increasing the surface area of the tank, option D decreasing the surface area of the tank. So the correct answer is option C increasing the surface area of the tank. Next question, the detention period and overflow rate respectively for plain sedimentation as the compared to the sedimentation with coagulation or generally option A less and more, option B less and less, option C more and less, option D more and more. So the correct answer is more and less. Next question, alum as the coagulant is found to be most effective when pH range of water is option A 2 to 4, option B 4 to 6, option C 6 to 8, option D 8 to 10. So the correct answer is option C 6 to 8. Next question, the detention period in coagulation tank is usually kept as option A 1 to 2 minutes, option B 3 to Option B 30 to 45 minutes, option C 2 to 6 hours, option D 2 to 6 days. So the correct answer is option C 2 to 6 hours. Next question, the alum when added as a coagulant in water, option A does not require alkalinity in water for flocculation, option B does not affect pH value of water, option C increase pH value of water, option D decrease the pH value of water. So the correct answer is option D decrease the pH value of water. So next question, the chemical most commonly used to increase the speed of sedimentation of sewage is option A sulfuric acid, option B copper sulfate, option C lime, option D sodium permanganate. So the correct answer is option C lime. Next question, in water treatment rapid gravity filter are adopted to remove option A dissolved organic substance, option B dissolved solid and dissolved gases, option C floating solids and dissolved inorganic solids, option D bacteria and colloidal solids. So the correct answer is option D bacteria and colloidal solids. Next question, the rate of filtration in slow sand filters in million liters per day per hectare is about option A 50 to 60, option B 100 to 150, option C 500 to 600, option D 1400 to 1500. So the correct answer is 
ऑप्शन ये फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी अगेन वी विल सी नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू